One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Columbia, Columbia, this is Houston, AOS over. Good morning everyone, Rai123 here today, and today I am back with another Roblox scripting tutorial. And today, if you can't tell by this title, we will do be doing more anti-gravity stuff. And today we will be learning not only how to make the blocks anti-gravity like last time, but we will also be learning how to make your player be able to have anti-gravity like you saw in the opening thing. If you notice, my player was able to jump higher, and he fell a little slower, too. So, let's go ahead, and I wanted to start off today, I'm in paint, <laughs> this isn't the studio, because I wanted to explain to you guys in a little bit more detail than last time how to achieve anti-gravity in Roblox. So, gravity in Roblox, here's Roblox like the Earth, and then here's your player. And then here's like a brick. Okay? So gravity in Roblox is, is just a downward force. So it's just this force. And it is pushing down at 196.2 studs per second squared. <clears throat> so that is the downward force. Now... There is no way to change this. This gravity force here is constant. Everything will always have this force pushing down on it. This is why things fall when they aren't anchored. This is why your player jumps as high as he does and falls back down as high as he does. Now, in order to mimic and achieve anti-gravity, all you have to do is apply a force in the opposite direction, lesser than this one. So for example if I have a force underneath this block pushing at 190 studs per second squared this block will flow slow this block will fall slower mimicking anti-gravity. Now if I wanted no gravity I would just change this so that it would match the downward force. I hope this is making sense. So, one more thing I wanted to do with you guys since I wanted to make this tutorial a little more educational, especially in light with school being out and everything, <laughs> at least in the North America. Oops, that's not the right color. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys how I found the gravity of a Roblox moon because if you notice in the intro cinematic that was I was using similar gravity to that of the moon so that it didn't exactly look accurate but as far as all the math goes it was accurate so let's set up our equation here just for this is just for fun if you want to skip ahead into the tutorial go ahead but I thought you guys might like to see how I found the gravity of Roblox's moon Okay, so here's what we're going to do. So on top here, we are going to put the Earth's, no, sorry, Roblox's fake gravity, 196.2 studs per second squared over the moon gravity, which would be X because that's what we don't know. And then we're going to set it equal to the real Earth's gravity, which is 9.8, oh my goodness, sorry, that's a terrible 8, meters per second squared. And we are going to set that over the moon's gravity the real moon's gravity which is one point sorry I keep having to pull up my notepad because it keeps going away 622 meters per second squared <laughs> that's really bunched anyways so then I don't know if you guys have ever seen an equation like this you probably have if you're at least in pre-algebra in school which I think is like 
eighth grade, seventh grade. Um, and then all we're going to do is cross multiply. So we're going to times the x times the earth's gravity. So you get 9.807x is equal to, what is it like? 318.2. Right? Yeah. 318.2364. Then, if you've ever done algebra before, you know to get x by itself, we have to divide by this. So, by both sides. And then, let me clear this again. So, if we divide by that number on both sides oops I don't want the pencil the pencil is too small we will get the x equals 32.4499 so basically 32.45 32.45 studs per second squared so on Roblox's moon here's the moon that would be the downward force that pushes down on your player and on other bricks. But, since like I said before, in Roblox there is no way to change that downward force, we have to only apply an opposite upward force. So, to do that, we would take Roblox's gravity, 196.2, and we would subtract it by this. So this would give us that the upward force we would need to mimic a Roblox moon's gravity is 163.75 studs per second. Squared. And that is the upward force you would have to apply to mimic the moon's gravity. And now let's go ahead and jump into the studio and I'm going to show you how you can like put this all into the player and everything and make it so that the gravity affects them. Three, two, one. Okay guys, so here we are in the studio and I've kind of turned it to look like a moon. But here, just to show you guys, I've set this block so that it will fall at moon gravity. Just so we are showing you how it looks. See? How fall, slow that falls. Okay, and then I'm going to show you guys how to make your player do the same. So, you will need a script in workspace, which is, where is my anti-gravity? There it is, anti-gravity script, and inside it you will need a body force, and inside that you will need a script. So, this is pretty much the same as our old gravity tutorial so if you need a little extra help you can go watch that one but basically you're just gonna have this here body force this what the force is doesn't matter for what we're doing so you can just leave it how it is because this script changes it so go ahead and edit the script inside of the body force and this is all you gotta type script.parent.force equals vector 3 dot new edit this middle variable or this middle number times script dot parent dot parent semi or colon get mass what this does is this first number is what we want the opposing force to be so since we were trying to mimic the moon's gravity here it was the number we came up with the 163.75 now if you want the opposing force to be greater, obviously you increase this number. If you want it to be less, um, you can decrease this number. Now, something interesting I found out while I was doing this is this can also, in case you guys were wondering, act as some kind of a super jump script. So if you want your people to be able to super jump, this is another way you can do that. Instead of calling it anti-gravity, you can just call it a super jump. Anyways, then you have to multiply it by the mass of the object just because that's how the forces work and everything. <laughs> Don't ask too many questions. Just kidding. Okay, so that's that script. 
you just gotta copy that for how it is I guess I'll go like this so it's all in one shot if you guys want to pause and copy it and then we will go ahead and jump into the main script that puts it inside of the players so the local force this just creates a clone of the force inside of the script and then here is where the magic happens so we have this down here so every time a child added to workspace it comes up here and calls this method and then it waits a little bit I'm not sure what this makes it wait but it's like a really small amount of time but it's just so our script doesn't break <laughs> but if um, so basically it checks to see if what joined the workspace is a character because it looks for a humanoid and then it will get all of the things inside the model so like all the parts all the humanoids all the hats or whatever clothes your guys wearing and then for everything inside of that um, array this is an array because it stores multiple values it will check to see if it's a part and then it will clone the body force again and then put it inside so really it's not that difficult to achieve this um, this is all you'll need and it just puts the opposing body force inside all the parts inside the player so like their head torso arm leg and then you will achieve your gravity and then the really nice thing is if you want to change your gravity force this script is the only place you have to change it because this body force is just cloned and put into every single player so if you want like a higher resistance so 190 that's almost the complete opposing force so let's go ahead and test that so as you can see now my player oops why did my mouse just jump halfway across the screen sorry guys as you can see now my player jumps forever high and falls a little bit slower um, the fall speed isn't quite that big of a notice when you jump but when you fall off of something that's when I seem to notice the biggest difference in the fall speed such as oh I guess I didn't really let me try to jump off this yeah see I fall way slower than I normally would now I did have not tried this but I'm kinda curious I wanna know what would happen if we set this value greater than the artificial <laughs> Roblox gravity will we f like float <laughs> that would be interesting let's see what happens Yeah, it seems like your guy kind of like floats for a little bit, but then he just like anchors. I don't know if it like, let me see, does it decrease the force or does it, I don't know why you would just float for a little bit though and then just stop floating. That's interesting. No, it looks like it's still the same. So that's interesting. <laughs> So if you put it to up above, your guy will float for a while, but then it'll just sink right back down. But yeah, so basically there's a way for you to get super jumps or mimic gravity. But thanks for watching this. I know this was a little bit longer tutorial. Thanks if you stuck through the to the end, and it will probably work better for you if you stuck through to the end. And please be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed. Post a comment down below with any suggestions you may have. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for future videos. And I will see you guys in those future videos. Have a great day. Goodbye.